This is my second favorite room in the house. It is our master bedroom. I love the color scheme in here. I could have not have been more happy with the way this turned out. But this video is going to show you how we went from this to this. We still have several more things that we're going to do to this room. Like I want to do a cute wooden kind of boho feel headboard. I think it would contrast really nicely with this wall. Um, but here's what we've got so far. And we did it all dirt cheap. We did all of the work ourselves or with the help of our friends and family. It takes a community, trust me. When you have a community, it's a lot easier. Here's everything that we did step by step and the colors that we used. Okay, we got a wonderful deal on this house. If y'all didn't watch our first video, a quick rundown, we bought this house for dirt cheap. It's got almost two acres of land, but it was so nasty. The renters that lived here before had several animals and were just disgusting. So this bedroom had carpet in it. Like it, oh my gosh. It took two bottles of bleach, bleach water. This floor, we tried hard to save this floor. I did not want to replace the actual floor. So after two good spray downs of bleach water and pine saw, I think we even put some fabric softener in there. Um, it did come clean and the smell finally did disappear. But we also went through and put uh, a coat of uh, primer, like gray primer, just to kind of seal it even more, just in case. Uh, but it, it actually works out great. There's still no smell. Um, we saved it, thank God, because that, oh, she, or plywood is really expensive. But I started with, I wanted to brighten this room up. It had these big, pretty windows, and I knew lots of light would come in, but I still wanted to brighten it up and make it look clean. So instead of using regular white, I went with Sherwin-Williams Alabaster. Uh, it's my favorite white of all times. I use the satin finish. Um, I don't like the semi-gloss, but I also, you know, want to be able to kind of wipe it. So I use Sherwin-Williams. It's a, a creamy white. It's not a yellow tone or anything like that. Like it turned out perfectly. Um, then the color on the accent wall. I knew I wanted an accent wall because there was so much light in here. I knew it wouldn't shrink the, the feeling in here. So I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I found this color that I loved. It was Sherwin Williams Riverway. And when I first started doing it, it looked really dark. So I was getting kind of scared. But once I finished it, it looked great with the white. Now we had all of these tools over here. We were still staying at our other place. We had all these tools over here. So we decided to go ahead and set up our bed. There's our floor that we painted, you know, just to kind of seal it in there and make it clean to walk on. Even after all that bleach, it still just kind of grossed me out. I was scared. Um, but Abby, we went ahead and put Abby in here. She was like our little watchdog. Um, but that bed and that frame, that's a king size bed and frame. And we ordered that from Amazon. The most comfortable bed I have ever slept on in my whole 40 years. I will link it below. I think it's memory foam or something. It's super comfortable. Um, but anyways, the flooring we got from Tux. It's the discount store in Martin, Tennessee. It's about an hour away from here. But this flooring is beautiful. It was $1.49 a square foot. $1.49. It has the padding on the back, it's the water resistant, it's the expensive kind, um, but I think they're like uh, discontinued or something is, is why their flooring is so cheap. But this, I originally wanted a pretty wood tone, but this was the only one that they had enough because I had a big old living room, my bedroom, the extra bedroom. I was gonna do Diesel's room, but I went with a different one for his room. Um, but so this is what we chose. That's Teddy, he helped us out a couple days too. Like I said, it takes the community. Um, Aaron and Michelle, Aaron was a carpenter his whole life. So they have been with us through this entire process. They're actually working on the one across the street right now. And we bought the one, a rental across the street. But on this wall, I wanted to do, um, I went to Arizona with my friend Andrea 
and her cousin Gabby has this beautiful accent wall that they made themselves in their living room. I said, okay, that's it. I have to have an accent wall. Um, so we had, I had this three quarter inch, and I think it was 12 inches wide, this, these boards to make shelves. And we just ripped those down to two inch strips. And um, a lot of people use glue um, and, you know, the nail gun. We just put it up with the nail gun and it's, it's held up pretty well. Um, I do have to go back and, and caulk the seams and stuff, but it's so dark you can't even really see the nail holes or anything. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna start decorating. Even though we don't have our baseboard yet, we still don't have our baseboard because life. But while I was in Arizona with Andrea, we went to thrift stores and I got this little chair over here for, um, I think it was $7 at a thrift store there and it's so tiny and so comfortable and it just completes this room um that dresser somebody gave to me my friend kathy's husband tim was working on a house and he said hey you probably like this dresser so i got it i scuffed it up and now it's like the focal point of the bedroom um these pictures on the wall i got from target I still need to put one more picture up there. I need to find one that kind of goes with these. These little shelves are from the dollar store. I mean, sorry, these little plants. Um, but here's the finished product. These lamps on the wall came from Amazon. I'll link those below, but they plug in so I didn't have to wire them. That nightstand on the left is also from a thrift store in Arizona. And it still had an $80 tag in it. And I gave seven, I think it was $8, $7.99. The table on the other side is from Big Lots, but actually there's a different one there now that I got from Marshalls. Um, but this uh, bedspread, it's like a peachy color. That came from Target. Um, like everything in this room is either thrifted or it's Target on sale or Ross or um, TJ Maxx, you know? Like I don't, that uh, laundry basket is from the thrift store. The same thrift store we're going to tomorrow. Uh, I haven't finished decorating. There's, I wanna do like a little small gallery wall in between um, the windows, nothing too big. But I, I definitely have a lot more to do. I have a little bench, a little wooden bench that's gonna go at the foot of our bed. Um, there's a lot more things that I wanna do to this place. But this room, oh, I just love it. It's so peaceful in here. And this is the most important thing of, of all. This little grandbaby has changed our lives. But Blake is obsessed with this kid. But it's so bright in here, you know, like we're he's constantly in here with us. Like and when we get to have him, he's in here. Look, he loves sleeping on my pillow. It, it, it's just, it's home. You know, it may not be the fanciest place. You know, it's an old double wide. Even Abby, my daughter, sleeps in mama's bed sometimes. Um, or till she just took a nap that day. But this baby, this family, I mean, that's what it's all about. It's doing stuff that you love. It doesn't have to be out of a magazine. It doesn't have to be, you know, top of the line, whatever. As long as you love it and, and it makes you happy. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's all about.